worst part is, I'm really not going to have any idea how much sap we start with. Let's get the propane burner going. I'm trying to think where I put my lighter. Aha. Right here. Yep, we'll get the propane burner going. That way it'll stop melting as we're adding. You need my help. Here a sled. Okay, so you made a sled run, kind of like a penguin run. Yeah, and so you have to grab this to stop so that you don't hurt yourself when you come down. But I was wondering if you could cut it off with your knife. I can break it off. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, let's get the cutters. Yeah, yeah I got cutters. Hold on. back and help Olivia out. What's that? You'll have to fix it. I'll cut them down, but you guys show me you going down it. Okay. Thank you. And that one. And maybe just those two little ones, just in case. Those ones were just weeds. Okay, here you go. Okay. You might want to watch the I better move over. Oh, you go pretty far. Yeah. I bet you you and Chase will have that slicked up nice when he gets here. Yeah. Because, like, because I was coming down and I had to grab this, but I would go over it. Oh, my like, goodness. I would go over the tree. So, oh, and I'll show you me going down that one too. I still Kay. have to work on that one, but that one is good. Oh! Okay. Okay, go for it. This one's a shorter one. It's faster though. Yeah. Yeah. But I like that one because it's longer and it's also a lot fun. Yeah. I better get the wood cook stove going. And that way the kids can come in the outdoor kitchen and warm up. Because when they're all covered in snow, they're not going in the house.
timed it, but it's only been like five minutes and all the ice is melted and it's almost at a roll and boil. Awesome! What's that? You can tell that I've been playing in the snow because my dad has snow on You're covered in snow. Does it make you hungry? Snack time. Hey, we have to change that clock. I know, we gotta change the clock in the outdoor kitchen. Like, it's not 816. It's not 816. It's 916. Oh my goodness. Actually. There we go. Mine says 919. 919. Man, I keep missing the snow falling off the roof with the camera. Son of a gun. I have a question. Would a bigger propane tank freeze up less? The small tanks freeze up pretty quickly with this colder weather. I need to keep shaking it to keep it at a good flame and a good boil. The propane tanks on the house never froze up on us, but I don't know if that's because this is pulling out so much propane at once or it's just the size of the tank. I think we better go check and see what the kids are up to. Bet you they're out having fun somewhere. I don't think they're at their penguin slides. I hear them. They're over there. Whoa. Let's grab a bucket. They're over by the farthest away maple tree so we can put the bucket back. What are you building? You think you're at the beach and you can bury yourself in the sand? No. no. We're, um. living in the we're pretending that we live in the wild and we, and we lost ourselves from home. We don't know where our house is. Because it snowed and then we couldn't find our tracks. Hey, that's a cool game to play. Yeah. And now you're making a sleeping bag out of snow? Yep, yeah. I found this. Because the rock isn't comfy. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's my pickaxe. big pickaxe. Your pickaxe? Oh my goodness. Your rock doesn't make a good pillow? No, this no. doesn't. I was sleeping on that and it was not comfy. No. You put snow on the rock too. Yeah, it's there you go. Really comfy like this. Now I'm putting my bucket back under the tree to collect the maple sap. I gotta find my hole. There it is. Nice. Now once it warms up, we'll be collecting sap. Man. I wish I could shake that tree and have all that snow fall on you. No. That would be funny. <laughs> it's gonna take you a couple of times to pack it now, because if I push you, well, I can push you from here, but I can't follow you. You have to just keep packing it and go a little bit at a time, and if I walk on it, I'm gonna ruin it. You made it further. <laughs> Got your legs up? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Where 
about halfway boiled down from where we started this morning. Gonna keep it just on a low roll and boil. All right, I stopped boiling for lunch and Olivia had a sledding accident, so we had to shut it off to make sure we didn't burn it. Lunch is over and Olivia's doing better. She slid down and bumped her head and cut her head. So luckily she's inside and she's feeling better now. Now we're gonna boil that out here for a few more minutes and then we'll put it on the wood stove. when there's only a little bit of sap left in there. You can't boil it down that good. Oh, let's try to get more water out while we're out here. It'll go a lot faster. I'll have to just go slow and be very cautious. While I was in eating lunch and seeing what was going on with Olivia, the fire out here went out. So I gotta get this to warm up before we put the pot back on there too. chance it anymore. Let's shut it off and we'll put it on the wood cook stove. We use cheesecloth to strain our sap and syrup. Try not to spill any this time. There we go. Nice. I think that was our best pour off I've had without spilling any. The back spot on the stove should be the hottest. It's already starting to get pretty hot, so and maybe it won't take long to come back to a boil. The oven temp is at 250. So normally we've been having the stove up to 500, but it cooled off while I was eating lunch and tending to Livy's boo-boo. Took about five minutes, and now it's up to a boil. Awesome. That's up to temperature. Move it from the stove. Whew. Boy, it is amazing how fast that sap can boil to temperature. In one minute I'll look, it'd be like 211, and then I looked over, it was 222. I'm looking for the temperature 221, so that's perfect. Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna call that a pint. It's just shy, but what's left is in here. And let's go try dumping that in the snow and see what we can get from it. Oh man, that looks so delicious. We're gonna put a regular cannon jar lid on it. That way when it cools, it'll seal. And then we will put it in the cave. Oh, that looks delicious. Mm-mm-mm. All right, let's go see 
what dumping that little bit of syrup in the snow did. It did much. Nope. I guess the kiddos can have some sugar and snow if they want. Which would be like a snow cone. Okay, let's go see what the kids think of it. Do you want to try some maple snow cone? Maple syrup's in there. Like a, it's like, it's like, it's like, like gotta be sweet. Spoon. Sweet. The darker color is gonna have the most. It's like a snow cone. Well, I think Chase and Olivia liked the sugar on snow. It was nice and sweet. A healthy option for a snow cone, which is kind of neat. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us. You never know what we're going to be up to here at Lumna Acres. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a great opportunity to do that. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.